it's pretty tough to be a first generation college student. It's been really tough trying to navigate the college process. You're not exposed to some of the connections that your peers might have. It can easily become an environment where you feel like you're not good enough to be here. If you are first generation to college and you're on a college campus, you are tenacious and you are persistent. So the Georgetown Scholarship Program, better known as GSP, is a community and family for first generation and or low income students at Georgetown University, as well as a collection of alumni volunteers and mentors. Growing up as a low income student was definitely tough and it required me to be resilient and resourceful. I grew up in a single parent household so it was just my mother and I. So my mom is my best friend for sure. When I was little we both knew that I was gonna go to college. So that helped me out early on because she invested in me, she believed in me. It was very powerful. My mom is an immigrant and I think when she came here, I don't know if she really imagined that her daughter would be able to get to a school like Georgetown. I had to do a lot of things by myself, but also being a first generation college student, I've always had to do that academic work by myself. They were just stuff that I learned to do on my own so that my parents didn't necessarily have to worry about it or because maybe they didn't have the knowledge to do so. And so it was a lot of intrinsic motivation and I just figured that I would do whatever it takes to get to college. So originally I thought that I was going to have to play football in college to sort of subsidize uh, the cost. And then my guidance counselor told me to start looking at schools that have larger endowments because of your socioeconomic class. They would most likely pay for your full way. So the name of the game was get into one of these um, top tier institutions. So I was at Cornell for my freshman year and I felt like I didn't fit in there um, and so I started applying to transfer other places. I got the acceptance letter online but I didn't know that I would be able to go until the financial aid um, and they weren't giving me the financial aids for a while so I called the financial aid office and so he told me and I just started crying. So unfortunately I was rejected from five schools and then my mom called me the next morning and she was crying and she, she cried because like her exact words were my baby got into Georgetown. This is sort of like what we were striving for for my entire like 18 years of existence at that point. It was unbelievable. I really couldn't believe it. I, I didn't believe it until I actually like came to visit Georgetown. I liked the idea that Georgetown had had the Jesuit values. Um, and then once I got in and I got into Georgetown Scholarship Program, I was able to find a community within it of people who were able to relate to me. And that's been the most empowering aspect of my college experience. I think it'll be a huge moment when I'm able to graduate and get that degree and I hope that it's also inspiring for my little brother who's 14 to know that he can do it as well. We aim to be a home away from home. We're truly invested, not just financially but emotionally invested in how they're doing in college and, and what their plans are for after. So a lot of students would think of GSP as their second family but I really think of it as my first family. Being a first generation college student I feel much more comfortable um, talking to GSP staff members and that's something I wouldn't trade for anything. I don't consider myself coming from a strong familial background um, outside of my mother but GSP is such an atmosphere in which the love is sort of endless, everyone wants to see you succeed. It's definitely a huge juxtaposition from where I'm from. I think a lot of college students probably take this opportunity for granted. Our students never take this opportunity for granted and they're trying to use that to, to help other people. It's a blessing in and of itself to see where three years ago where I was at to now I'm on the verge of graduating like in the top half of my class. I'm glad that I didn't give up on myself and I'm even more thankful that others didn't give up on me.